Hello friends, in today's documentary, we will talk about, the famous spy planes, Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the X-37B spacecraft. The Astra TR-3B ultra-secret spaceship that changes shape and that it is capable of interstellar travel. The fact that the US government and the Pentagon intend to implement a program for the development of a strategic reconnaissance hypersonic aircraft which will replace Lockheed State Route 71, U.S. Air Force Strategic Supersonic Reconnaissance Aircraft, operated from 1964 to 1998. In aerospace circles of America began to speak in the second half of the 70s. The Aurora program was launched soon. Funding for the development of a new aircraft, which could reach an astonishing speed of up to 6M, was made from the so-called black accounts of the U.S. budget. However, it is known that the State Route 91 Aurora project, also known as the TR-3A, was spent $455 million in 1985, and by 1987 the total cost of its development was $2.3 billion. Dot. Another two years later, the new car was tested in the air for the first time. It is believed that 24 of these aircraft were produced, which cost between 10 and 24 billion dollars. So far, despite the fact that aeronautical publications have published far from a photo of TR-3A, at the official level, their very existence has not been confirmed. This may be due to the fact that after the Pentagon preferred to use small reconnaissance satellites, some of these cars were scrapped and taxpayers' money was buried in the ground. There is an assumption that the technologies used in the Aurora program were obtained from aliens or copied from crashed UFOs. Model TR-3B Astra. The aircraft, codenamed TR-3B Astra, is a classified development of US information. The first reconnaissance flight took place in the early 1990s. It is actually an aerospace platform, 182 meters long and 98 meters long, most often. This device is perceived as a triangular UFO due to the fact that the power plant of this aircraft is essentially a generator of a strong magnetic vortex field. And the light flux emitted periodically by this generator is perceived by external observers as unusual, inhuman. Their state-of-the-art propulsion system allows you to climb for a long time and be completely silent. The devices of the Aurora program are of nine types and have dimensions from 36 to 600 meters. Homeland Security, NRO, CIA and the U.S. Air Force played a game with vehicle modifications, creating TR-3A, TR-3B and Tier 2, 3 and 4, with the prefixes plus, or. This was done for confusion. To hide the fact that behind these names are completely different aircraft and not just modifications. For example, TR-3B is similar to TR-3A, such as Great Banana. Some of these vehicles are equipped and others are drones. In the center of the TR-ZV hull, triangular, with rounded corners, is a rotating cockpit. The TR-3B Astra cockpit is surrounded by a kind of annular particle accelerator, which is ahead of all modern technologies imaginable. The purpose and main feature of such an installation is to generate a strong magnetic vortex field, which partially, up to 90%, or completely neutralizes the effect of gravity on the mass of the device. The outer coating of the TR-3B reacts to the electrical stimulus, causing the device to change color. An annular accelerator, magnetic field switch, or MFD, surrounding the cockpit is filled with plasma that is capable of creating magnetic vortex fields. This accelerator uses mercury in its activity, which is subjected to a pressure of 250,000 atmospheres at a temperature of 150 degrees Kelvin, about 66 degrees Celsius, and accelerates at 50 to 60,000 revolutions per minute which makes it possible to obtain a superconducting plasma. In general terms, the essence can be understood as follows, charged particles moving along the ring act as a current, which in turn creates a magnetic field around the ring. It is a well-known fact that electrons, or ions, tend to spiral around magnetic field lines. In other words, the charged particles end up moving in the same type as the current on the wire twisted around a toroidal core. 
According to this principle, a plasma moving in a circle creates a magnetic field around it. The main power source for TR3B is a modified nuclear engine. To obtain a superconducting plasma that reduces the effect of gravity, a funnel-shaped magnetic field is created, which neutralizes the effect of gravity on the mass under the influence of the accelerated ring, thus reducing the effect of the Earth's gravitational field on the device. The mass of the accelerator itself, as well as the mass of the pilot capsule, aviation equipment, fuel, crew atmosphere and nuclear reactor, are reduced by 89%. This creates the effect of incredible lightness of the ship and allows it to easily maneuver and achieve incredible performance characteristics. Astra pilots are able to safely tolerate acceleration of up to 40 g. Because the weight loss effect of 89% of the weight offered by the MFD generator makes the human body to be as much as 4.2 g under normal conditions. With a weight reduced by 89%, the vehicle can move at a speed 9 times faster than the speed of sound, it can move vertically or horizontally. The characteristics of the machine are limited only by the physical effort on the body of the device. The three rocket engines run at only 11% of the total mass of the TR-3B. Propulsion is provided by three multi-mode thermo-rocket engines installed in each corner of the base of the triangular platform. These three engines use hydrogen or a mixture of methane and oxygen as fuel. The reactor heats the liquid hydrogen and expels the liquid oxygen in a high-speed nozzle. So hydrogen burns at the same time as the liquid oxygen in the burner. The multi-mode traction system can operate in any layer of the atmosphere using the traction of a hydrogen reactor and in orbit using the combined force of hydrogen and oxygen. The most sophisticated aircraft propulsion system, which also includes liquid jet engines operating on liquefied oxygen and hydrogen, was created by Rockwell. This company has always been distinguished by the original designs, the best known of which is the strategic stealth bomber B-2 Spirit, Lockheed State Route 71. The reaction of eyewitnesses in Russia. I live in Sakhalin. I saw a similar device. He flew over the sea. I don't remember what color the lights are in the corners, but orange in the center. It flew noisily. The distance is difficult to determine. The speed is about 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. While running for the camera, he ran. It didn't seem right to me, because in a sober mind and a firm memory. I don't drink alcohol at all. Americans seem to have another similar thing, called BBD, Big Black Delta, a large black delta. We have a strategic aviation aerodrome in the Far East. Not far from the city where I live. Four engine bombers often fly there. So. One evening I watched this image, at a fairly low altitude and at low speed, this bomber was flying right over my house. And next to it, almost in the wing, was flying something that looked like a triangular object. Slightly larger than a bomber. It was dark, so even the silhouettes were hard to see, but the lighting. If in the plane, the side lights seemed familiar, blue and red on the wings, a strobe on the tail, then on the triangle. The lights were located on three peaks and were slightly larger, two blue and red, they looked boring, as if through a filter the light. And most importantly, the sound of the engines was heard only by one plane and not by two, although they were flying down. Then they tried to explain to me I was watching the air supply. But I'm not exactly an idiot. Feeding at this height, just above the village, is strange. And I haven't seen airplanes that fly. Southern Moscow region. We have similar vehicles flying in the fields for two summers in a row. They appear like a bright lightning from the sky and then this light gradually goes out. Moreover, the object is hanging at this moment. Then the signals light up. Just like on a conventional aircraft, and the object begins to move, almost in silence. It looks like a military plane. I have seen it countless times and I am sure that this is the development of our army. Sometimes 10 pieces fly simultaneously. I saw this in Chukotka in 1996. He walked early in the morning on a hill, making an intermittent sound, as if a glove had twisted. It hung for about 10 seconds, then suddenly disappeared. 
According to these testimonies, the new type of aircraft is almost indistinguishable from a real UFO and has some of its characteristics. It is likely that these devices are already produced not only in the United States but also in Russia. This explains why such devices fly over Russia completely free, without opposition from Russian air defense. New revelations about the U.S. secret plane, space missions hidden from the eyes of Russia and China. The unmanned X-37B secret aircraft of the United States Department of Defense is one of the most interesting and mysterious spaceships in the world. He regularly conducts missions kept secret by Russia and China, whose purposes are not fully known. But over time, various information has emerged about the plane, which is also called the Orbital Test Vehicle, OTV, which is not known to the majority of the public. The X-37B secret aircraft, which resembles a smaller version of one of NASA's space shuttles, was originally built in 1999. It is about 8.8 meters long, 2.9 meters high and 4.6 meters wide. The aircraft weighs 4,990 kilograms, being able to take off vertically, being propelled by a rocket. Once in orbit, it can maneuver on its own and eventually land on the runway just like a conventional plane. The vehicle has a small loading area, which allows it to carry equipment and satellites. It flies at an altitude of 240 to 805 kilometers above the Earth, according to its manufacturer, Boeing. NASA transferred two X-37B aircraft to the Pentagon's Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, in 2004. After being operated for many years by the Air Force, the spy planes moved in 2020 to the newly established Space Force. The X-37B performs secret experiments in space. Despite the fact that the secret X-37B aircraft performed six missions, its true purpose remains a mystery. Some sources say the operations would be aimed at monitoring the Earth's surface from above and launching spy satellites. Several theories have been listed about the X-37B's secret missions, from spying on China's space station or a means for the U.S. military to interfere with satellites in other countries. A big advantage of the X-37B spy plane is that it can stay in space for a long time. At its first launch in 2010, it spent 224 days in space. A second vehicle flew a year later and remained in orbit twice. The time record is 780 days, i.e. more than two years, this being recorded during the fifth flight. Shortly before its launch in 2020, the U.S. Army revealed that the secret aircraft would have a new service module, which was attached to the rear and allowed a larger number of experiments to be carried into orbit. The mission launched a small satellite called FALCONSAT-8, which was to conduct five experiments, some developed by the Air Force and others by NASA. Undoubtedly, the X-37B spy plane is designed to offer a lot of frustration to countries that have strained relations with the United States, such as Russia and China. Because they cannot know what secret missions they are carrying out in Earth's orbit. The weapon that only the CIA used, the legendary Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird. A Google search for the name of the fastest aircraft in the world will yield the result Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, an aircraft commissioned in 1964 by the United States Army and flying until 1998. Legendary, the aircar thwarted radars and air defenses top speed of 3,398 km per hour. However, the reality is different. The Oxcart Project Blackbird had already been overtaken by the aircraft he actually inherited, the A-12, a top-secret CIA plane that could reach 3,574 km per hour, in 1960, in the middle of the Cold War. The American agency wanted to build a spy plane that would fly at high altitude and very quickly to get rid of the USSR's anti-aircraft defenses. The program was then called Project Oxcart. Usually, Pilots of super-fast planes can push the jets to reach top speeds for a few minutes. This time, the CIA wanted the plane to be able to fly at an altitude of more than 25 kilometers at Mach 3, or three times the speed of sound, for several hours.
Under these extreme conditions, the temperature of the A12's fuselage could exceed 550 degrees Celsius. Because ordinary steel and aluminum materials could not withstand such extremes, the CIA had to use a titanium alloy. Problem. Only one country in the world at that time had enough titanium reserves to build the spy plane, the USSR. Therefore, through some front companies and intermediaries, the CIA bought the titanium it needed from the Soviet Union. In order not to attract Moscow's attention, the A-12 was developed in the utmost secrecy. Paranoia and Zone 51. The tests were conducted at an isolated airport located in Groom Lake, a salty desert in Nevada, now better known as Zone 51, one of the most secret bases of the U.S. Army. The conditions for selecting pilots authorized to take command of the A-12 were as drastic as the security of this legendary base. Thus, the CIA demanded that each military man have 2,000 flight hours, 1,000 of them in high-performance fighter jets, says David Robarge, the CIA historian. But that's not all. The pilots had to be married, emotionally stable and highly motivated, aged between 25 and 40, with a height of 1.80 and weighing a maximum of 80 kilograms. In order to enter the narrow cabin, if the requirements of a certain number of flight hours and specific physical conditions make sense. That of marital status is explained by the fear of desertion that prevailed at the time. Married men were considered less likely to betray the United States to join the Soviet Union. Dead top secret. According to Robarge, the Oxgard program was so secret that the candidate's superiors did not know what program their subordinates were in. It was also particularly dangerous. Out of 11 soldiers selected to participate, two died in accidents. In total, only 18 A-12s were built and used between 1962 and 1965, exclusively by the CIA. The A-12 was then replaced by the famous SR-71, used by the U.S. Air Force. This successor will fly for decades, it's true, at a lower speed.